94, the number one hit music station, Zero and Amy Kang. Good morning. As we launched to a round of textual healing this morning, Aisha says this. Are there rules these days for girls texting men? Are they supposed to text first? Does it matter? I'm new to dating again. I really like the guy I met last weekend, but I haven't heard anything. I'm 32. I'm not getting any younger. If you want to go out again, let's go. Am I supposed to just wait for him to text me? So they did something this weekend after that was the first meetup. Hadn't heard anything. It's Thursday today. Does she just text and say, hey, I had a good time, blah, 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 or is she supposed to wait and see? I think that's an outdated rule. I do, too. I think if you want, if you did have a good time with him, you text him. You tell him. I had so much fun. Also, what are you doing this weekend? I want to get together. You text him if you want to, but as it continues, if you're always the one starting the convo, stop, and I would look at that as a red flag. If he doesn't want to talk to you, Why? I do think most the time, most the time, uh, fellas are probably pretty good if they're interested about being like, hey, 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 fairly quickly. That's not to say that it won't work out for you. I don't think that it matters who texts first. You know, the the man-woman equation could be her, could be him, could be whoever. Maybe you text simultaneously. This whole, like, you have to wait three, four days or whatever the rules were with, like, phone calls back in the day. I don't think that exists anymore. I literally think there's people that get in the car as they're leaving a date with somebody and text there in the car. Like, he yeah. might also just be assuming, oh, she never texted me, must not be interested. That's what I would think. He would assume, oh, the date must have been terrible. I haven't heard from her. I think you should have even that night or the following day after the date said, hey, had a really good time. Would love to get together soon. But now you waited. So, yes, you reach out to him. There's also the chance that he was trying very intentionally to avoid, because if you guys did something this week, this past weekend, but you got to remember yesterday <gasps> was Valentine's yeah. Day. He's maybe waiting until after Valentine's Day just to avoid the like weird romantic holiday to like be having a date with you and like trying to ordinate. He might just be waiting for you know today, tomorrow, this weekend to communicate with you again. I, by no means do I think that letting Valentine's Day come and go three, four days is a sign he's not interested. I don't think it's that either. I think you just need to put on your big girl pants and send him a text. Are there any rules these days when it comes to who texts who, that kind of stuff? Two, three, seven, it's in text 35 to 70. Or do you think that is a very outdated mentality? Where does she go from here? Does she just say, hey, what's up? I'd love to see you again. Let's go. The Y94 Morning Playhouse. Hey, it's Playhouse in the morning. Why not a for the number one hit music station in the middle of textual healing this morning with Playhouse family member Alicia, who is, she's 32, that matters to you. She met a guy this past weekend and he hasn't heard, or she hasn't heard from him. And she's like, well, what are the rules with like texting? Can I text first? Do I just leave and be? Do I have to wait a certain amount of time? Um, I have something to fess up to. What's that? Hello? Uh, your phone dumped out. I'm sorry. I could just call back. Hello? I'm glad we're talking about texting and, like, strategies. And my girls and I always talk about this. Um, to me, it's kind of like, mm, if you really like the guy, you have to make yourself not text him. Because if you really like them, you got to make sure he's, like, more into you. So you just have to kind of hold out, play a little bit hard to get. But if you're just, like, wanting to hook up with somebody, you're not really, like, looking for something serious, I think it's totally fine. We all think it's good to just go ahead and text him. So she, like, likes him. Maybe just wait and see if he reaches out. Yeah, when I'm tempted to text the guy, I just, like, make myself not do it. I totally think about how, you know, how rewarding it will be if we're actually together. And then I always do text my girls, you know, for backup. And they'll be like, don't do it, don't do it, hold off. And normally, like, we give it, like, at least four days on the text. That's our rule, at least four days. Hmm. Then it's kind of like, oh, he's not texting me back. Maybe he's not that into me. Then I guess if you're, you know, okay to not be serious with him, it's okay for you to text them. But now you know it's kind of like you like him more. Okay. So a bit of a four-day rule, which, I mean, assuming they met this weekend, I mean, she's kind of around, around that mark now, I guess. That's garbage advice. You don't like it? I mean, yeah, and text club agreeing. Someone said text him. If a guy legitimately likes a girl, then it will not matter at all if you or him approaches or texts first. Another person said, unless you're living in the 90s and you have a mindset of a high schooler, expecting the man to always text first will land you single or would trash men. And someone else said, as a guy, if you never text me, I will return the favor and never text you. 
And you thinking it matters who texts first, any of that stuff, or is that pretty dated thinking? Hello? I think that when someone ghosts on you, whether it's a phone call or a text, and they don't respond, then you shouldn't be responding back. It should be a mutual cat and mouse chase. That's, that's what makes it fun and keeps it sexy. So she should not text this person in your mind? No. If, if, if a guy isn't responding to text messages and I text one time and I don't text back, then that's it. You have to, you have to go back and forth. Again, I think it's mutual. Like Everything should be back and forth. Okay, so overall, people are like, if you're interested in this guy, just message the dude. Yeah, people are saying text him. Someone even said, guys like to uh, feel wanted as well. You should be the one initiating it. And someone else said, what's next? Uh, You don't want to out-earn him because then it will be doomed. Seriously, why are you thinking like this?